are these players up? But I mean, most of the time they may have the headphones on listening to game music because oh, the soundtrack's kind of based. It, Mike oh, is no. playing over on uh, the EGS Twitch. Oh, there you go. Let's go, Mighty Coon. You know who's playing on our stream? Kazuya. Kazuya. The Callus Kazuya. And it's not even Jazza who's Kazuya. No, man. You'd hope that Jazza would be keeping on the candy, especially in this round two. And both these players on round two, so they're able to take out their round ones. Oh, look at this. Kalos already setting up the trip and trying to get the electric god fist, but, uh, or not the, the rising electric fish, should I say, but uh, Jazza rolling out exceptionally. And we're using these F tilts, man. Ken's F tilt, oh, that's dead. a war crime. Oh, you're not dead because you're Kazuya. I forgot for a second, but now I remember. Kazuya does not die. Kazuya Mishima, he does indeed win, but you need to get in with these electrics in order to start winning, and we haven't seen any of them connect so far. Well, you need to get in at all. It doesn't <laughs> even have to be with electric. You just need to get in in some semblance of the word, and Kalos has yet to be able to do that, and he will definitely not be able to do that on the first stock as Jazo finds a down tilt into a Shoryu to take it out. And now it looks like he's just planning on just keep on trucking through. It's these lead traps of Jazza that's been keeping Kalos at the edge, keeping him from building 8% and building some more of your own. These F tilts coming out. Okay, that's the first one we've seen. No, not able to get the rising electric there as well. That could have been stock. I mean, I don't want to be the, the Kazuya Doomer, but he was at 40. If yeah. he connects the electric, I right. don't know. Just a little bit too slow from Kalos, uh, Kalas, excuse me, on the uh, the follow-up, and that's going to allow Jazza to just kind of buffer that down tilt out. But you're not going to be able to buffer out of a rage drive. He is going to be able to live through a rage drive, though. Not g All right. Wow. He, he, <laughs> he didn't crouch dash forward before going for the upbeat. It was a uh, perfectly timed spot dodge around that focus, man, but it doesn't matter. Jazzo, once again, connecting the back hit of this back air. The parry? I thought you weren't the parry guy, but he is. He has him as well. Trying to connect a laser to take stock at some point. It's the feet coming out. Both of these FGC F tilts, man. FGC F tilts are built kind of different in this game, but doesn't matter when you have the armor on that up smash. That's going to take your first stock. Sorry, I was getting a little bit distracted, but uh, I, I'm <laughs> I covered. It's good. I'm, I'm locking back into the into the match with Kalos on one stock, and that one stock might be going away in very short order as he's finding out just what we in Georgia have to deal with on a weekly basis, and that is Jazzo's parries in in both your advantage state and his advantage state. You try and swing out of disadvantage, parry. You try and swing out of advantage, parry. You try and swing in neutral, parry. And then you get caught by the Shoryu. Parry into DP has to be one of the most classics, man. Jazzo connecting those every time. We're not falling out of it today. Kazuya going to fall victim to that one. And I mean, uh, Dragon Punch on Ken. Eventually against Kazuya. You'd think the heavier character might be able to live it a little longer. But at those percentages, Jazzo's just going to take first game clean and quick. And I'm honestly not 100% sure what percent windows it is. But I don't think that was the best DI in the world. <laughs> He's feeling himself. Don't wait, when we're right next to you, I saw that in both the camera and in uh, turn around quick enough. He's dancing. Jazzo, if you can hear me, parry 15,000 electrics this game. <laughs> 15,000 of them. <laughs> He's saying he'll do it. 15,000 at least, but then Kalos hit 15,000 electrics. That's my guy. That's my guy. That's my guy. He's in it. He's, in, right, it. He's we, in it. We got to stop distracting him. <laughs> Focus. This is Kagaribi. Does, it, does this count as mid-set coaching me telling him to parry a ton of electrics? I mean, telling Jazza to parry is like telling a fish to swim in water, man. So you don't need to tell him anytime he's in this game. He's going to be looking for him. To fly. Well, he's already missed the first parry, but that was just a wind god fist, not an electric wind god fist. Yeah, man. We're going to have to see those inputs coming up very soon because, I mean, oh, he's almost setting himself up for an edge guard there. I didn't think that Ken was the type of character because it's these ledge traps once again. Coming in with the elbow, just keeping the shield pressure on lock. These frames that Ken has to his disposal, disposal Jazzo is using exceptionally. And Jazzo is so very good at positioning himself on the ledge in just the right position to catch you either rolling or neutral get up or jump or whatever you might decide to try. He's there and ready with an option. Absolutely, man. Jazzo is very well practiced when it comes, I have to imagine, especially against these FGC characters. Ooh. There it is again. We're trying to go for these verb techs, but the swing is coming out a little late when it comes to that rising electric. We saw it a little bit during the, the first game as well, where see wow. uh, where, where Kalos definitely knows what he's doing, but he's just a little bit slow on the execution, and because it's such a tight window on a player as good as Jazza, he's just not getting away with, you know, maybe a combo that he would get away with on a, on a slightly less good player, but he does get away with it this time. Last game, we saw him mess up on Electric into Uppy. This time, he does not mess up on it and manages to take out that first stock. Absolutely, man. But look at Jazzo building up to 62 just for that one interaction. And I mean, we made a note into last game that these uh, Japanese players, they tend to play long. But look at the clock right now. As soon as you bring foreign guys onto the stream, well, they want to take stocks and they want them now. I don't even know if this is necessarily a foreign guy thing in that we're watching Kazuya versus Ken. Like, this is <laughs> bound to be fast one way or the other. Absolutely, man. Both these characters are hitting DPs, whether it be for the kill or whether it be for the combo, doesn't matter. But falling out this time, okay, Kalos going to get 
one last chance, and it's gone. Jasso buffering the, <laughs> the stand-up fist bump there. He was up before the kill screen even finished. He Man knows. Knew. Man knew as soon as that show you even connects. As soon as you're even close to that 100% mark, it's going to be taking stock. So Jazzo winning his round two. Not drowning out in pools yet. We'll have to see if he can carry it on in two more games. Who are you running into for your, for your getting out? Who is it? Masashi? The I don't know either. I think he's a cloud, right? There you go. Um, okay. Well, you'll beat either of them, right? Doesn't matter. <laughs> of course. Doesn't of matter. Course, of course. Okay. <laughs> Jazzo. -E I told you I'd win. That's the wrong character. That's from a different. That is. Thing. That is. <laughs> but uh, Jazzo definitely one of uh, one of the the 